They were a critical part of the coalition that smashed through Daesh defences in 2017. The Peshmerga, the Kurdish regional government's forces, fought alongside the Iraqi army to bring an end to the terror group's reign. But with the fighting came accusations of human rights abuses against civilians. As Mosul is increasingly liberated from ISIL, we are seeing an alarming rise in threats, specifically of forced uh, evictions against those suspected of being ISIL members or whose relatives are alleged to be involved with ISIL. Threats that have also been made in uh, other areas of Iraq. These reports have persisted. And just last week, Human Rights Watch accused Kiaji authorities of torturing child detainees. The group says the torture includes beating and electric shocks to coerce ISIS confessions. Human Rights Watch says it interviewed 20 boys aged between 14 and 17, all arrested on charges of being Daesh informers or fighters. It's not the first time such allegations have emerged in post Daesh Iraq. Accusations of torture and reprisal killings by Iraqi special forces groups and pro-government Shia militias have been catalogued by media organizations and other rights groups like Amnesty International. It's also not the first time that the Kurdish regional government forces have been accused of such acts. But the reaction of the authorities in Erbil is the same. They deny any wrongdoing. In a statement, a spokesman says the KRG has granted access to the facility to the International Committee of the Red Cross and UN agencies, and that they have not received any complaints of ill-treatment and torture from the IS child detainees. The KRG added, if there were any instances discovered by the KRG of mistreatment of detainees in its custody, the matter would be immediately followed upon according to the applicable laws. Human Rights Watch says it stands by its report and that more needs to be done to prevent such atrocities from taking place. So, how widespread is the use of torture within the KRG and is monitoring by international agencies enough to prevent violations, particularly in the case of children? Shweb Hassan, The Newsmakers.